So this is the psychiatric uh, institute, the psychiatric uh, uh, hospital in Prague, Bohnice, where I used to work. This is a state hospital, but several of the pavilions were uh, in the 60s, uh, early 60s, uh, adapted and became uh, the Psychiatric Research Institute, where we did the work with uh, psychedelics. Uh, this is a pavilion system, it's a beautiful, beautiful nature and then scattered pavilions. I worked uh, mainly on pavilion uh, number 23. And this uh, tower here is like a sort of central, a central object that characterizes this place. And then uh, over there, if we turn, is the main building and the main entrance into the whole uh, complex. Those are also the administrative uh, rooms for for the whole hospital and the, the main transfer, main entrance for most of the people. I'm quite surprised how uh, restored it is now that many of the pavilions now have a, a new coat. At the time uh, when I was working here, it was really run down. The mortar was falling at the of the buildings. Now, particularly in the spring, in the beginning of May, uh, the nature is beautiful here and the, the pavilions are uh, quite quite nice. And I'm I'm here uh, with my wife of uh, 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 five weeks now. Uh, Brigitte, and I am just showing her the place uh, where I were, and, uh, and where most of the most of the early uh, research in psychedelics was uh, was happening. So I'm just going to take a take a few pictures of the, uh, of the pavilions here and uh, and of the inside of uh, the pavilion 23. It's not. Not much to be seen there because there has been major reconstructions. So nothing really looked inside of the pavilion the way I remember it. But not much changed except the renovation here in the complex itself. It's very nice to, to, to show the sweetheart what it, what it looks like. Been enjoying it here? Yes. Okay. It's nice. So. So behind me now, that's the pavilion number 23, which used to be a um, pavilion for women. And this is where I did uh, most of my uh, research in the early years between 1960 and 1967, when I was leaving for the United States. Unfortunately, inside uh, it all looks different. So that we cannot we cannot show what it looked like at the time when we were doing the research there. Everything has been rebuilt in the 50 years in between. But it's a real pleasure to return and at least to see layout and the, the buildings and the beautiful nature which is here.
Where are we? Okay. Where are we? Tell us. Where are we here? Are we video? So how do you like it in Prague? It's wonderful. Pretty good. Huh? It's pretty good, yeah. I love to okay. be in Prague with you. Well, well I This is like a real set matrix prison. They were lower the prison up there, and he is not getting any food, so he dies. And then uh, the next one who comes in disposes uh, of the corpse. There is a canal that connects it to the river. And then uh, the new person dies there. instance where somebody was able to escape. It was a little, a little more like the, uh, the movie, uh, the Shawshank uh, Redemption. So this is um, Prague Psychiatric Clinic where I studied psychiatry and, uh, and uh, also worked as a volunteer since uh, the fourth year of medical studies and where I had my first LSD session. It looks quite different but this is and friends. So this is the psychiatric clinic where I studied as a medical student and also worked since the fourth year of my studies and this is also where I had my first LSD session. It serves as a meeting room in the morning. Every morning is a meeting when we discuss the new patients and changes in, in the work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, of course, library, beautiful library. Mm -hmm. You know how many, how many books are there? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Because they are in more rows than just in one, and those old books upstairs, mm -hmm. uh, they are not written in, in the lists. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to ask about one more thing, which I, when I was here as a student, for my fourth year of medical studies, I worked with Dr. Pisaczewicz. And he, his particular interest was uh, painting, and there was an incredible collection of schizophrenic, uh, schizophrenic patients, epileptic. Mm -hmm. All those stuff are uh, hidden uh, under the roof. Nobody's doing anything. Nobody is doing anything. You know, there is a very famous book by Prince Horn, which is called the Malerai de Kaiserslautern. Which is the, you know, the paintings of psychiatric patients. I remember this was an incredible collection, and this, this should be made into I don't know, mm. an exhibition, a book. Nobody's interested in it. I think that nobody knows it. So it's good that you mentioned that. I can ask no. whether those paintings are still here. They were amazing, and at, at the time I sort of hoped that sometime I would do something good.
put this behind me. It's uh, our house where we lived from uh, the year 1938. And um, this went through all kinds of changes during the war. It was uh, the first war was taken by NSDAP, NSDAP. Uh, then it was taken by the, by the communists. And uh, we have to say that at the beginning, 19. Uh, 38, this was the newest house, and really uh, up to date, you know, all the modern equipment uh, that was available at the time. And if you take a look now, it's just unbelievably uh, neglected. Uh, uh, water falling uh, off it, it's uh, leaking, and uh, the entrance is just unbelievably run down. Painted uh, by spray cans and uh, missing uh, sidewalk and uh, trash cans uh, in front of it. It's just a, it's a bummer and a shame. It's very, very unpleasant to uh, return and, and, and see once with a really nice uh, room. So what we see here, uh, and uh, to my right, uh, that's a school that we went to uh, at the level of the gymnasium, which means uh, from Prima to Octava, something corresponding to American high school. Yeah, experience here eight, actually seven, seven years uh, of my basic education. Again, a lot of, lot of memory. Uh, there was one school which was for boys, and then the other one, the other building was for girls, and then when we were 14, they started to see. And there to my right, far right, uh, there was um, Playground where we used to play soccer. Beautiful place.